Tee, 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 it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What are we doing here? Oh, let's see. Oh, look, there's some, there's someone reading a book. What are they reading here? Hmm, America, John Stewart. Hmm, oh, look, oh, it's hello. another Sunday morning. Hey, my friends, I know in the past I played the part of the jester of anarchy, but today I want to get serious. Allow me to address a touchy subject I'm sure many of you had to deal with in the past. You know, the film I'm about to show you could be anywhere America. Scene so disturbing, you might want to get the teens around the screen for a little shock therapy, a little tough love. A wake-up call for the youth of the nation. If it happened to me, it could happen to anyone. These little motherfuckers. Look what they did to this place! I'm gonna get you little motherfucking bastards. Oh yeah. Are we gonna get them? We won't let them get away with it, will we? Jeez, you think you little fucking bastards could find something better to do with your lives. You know, like maybe getting involved with an activist organization, or getting involved in politics, or volunteering to help poor people, or, uh, you know, whatever. But this is how you spend your time! What? Yeah, this is anywhere town USA. Problems with trash, problems with graffiti and taggers and gangs, and the cops won't do a damn thing about it. But they sure will find the owner. The code enforcement, which is just a way to get around the Constitution, will find a way to hit the owner with huge fines. Even though law enforcement does nothing about this, the owner didn't make this trash. The owner didn't spread that graffiti. Did he? You know where I'm from, people uh, leave their mark on society by actually doing something. You have to do something! This is not art. This is destruction of personal property. And besides, if I was selling speed and drive-by shooting babies, I wouldn't be fucking advertising it! Thinking it's cool to be a fool? Look at that. You see what they did here? Look at that. Can you believe it? You know, this ain't art, motherfuckers. This is destruction of personal property we're talking about here. And you mess with the wrong motherfucker now, bitch. We got the paint cans, man. We got your fingerprints. I'm coming to your mama's house, and I'm going to put Spolak and six-foot letters all over her place. Don't you know I'll do it. See how you much you like it. Oh yeah, I'm coming to your mama's house. I'm gonna put SPOAC, S-P-O-A-C-T, in six foot high letters on your mama's house. See how you like that. See how you like that shit. Larry, you like that shit? I like that shit. Okay, brother. Jeez, the youth of today, could you be any more stupid? Could you be any more ignorant? Could you be any more of a bunch of pathetic losers than you are right now? Graffiti, graffiti, yeah, you want graffiti? Here's graffiti. You made one mistake. You ever hear of fingerprints? 
Look at that. The cans. Your spray paint cans, boy. We got you now. Hello? Now, Pookie ain't here, man. Go buy a crack somewhere else, motherfucker. Tee, 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 tee. Well, what's in that? A beautiful wall. Oh, my goodness. What? What? Who's this? What? Oh, my God, it's Spoak. Spoak, what are you doing out here today? Hey, all you rappers out there, you're all talk, man. This is action right here. This is what we call doing something to benefit society and myself. What could be better than that, huh? This is ungraffiti. This un is untag. <laughs> I can't wait to get to your mama's house. Six foot spalak all over, boy. <laughs> Say bye bye to the tag. So bye. Well, that wall's a blank, just like your life, if you keep going the way you're going. You know, wearing your, wearing your hat like that. What, because 50 Cent wears his hat like that? Because Snoop Dogg got baggy pants down here, holding it one-handed. You got to walk down the street holding your pants with one hand up. Don't you think that puts you at a disadvantage in this society? I would say so. Sorry about that, I get worked up sometimes. Everybody who knows me, knows me. You know us middle-aged white guys, we don't get a break nowadays. Maybe I should shave the beard. Do I look better with my hat like this? No? I could wear my hat like this, but the really important thing, what you should be doing instead of wearing your hat like that is, look at that. I voted, baby. You should be out there doing something worthwhile, getting your friends to vote, huh? Yeah. This ain't your territory no more, motherfuckers. Look at this. Clean wall. A blank slate, just like your little mind. How do you like that? What are you guys gonna do now? You gonna come back? We'll be waiting for ya! You guys like rap music and gang lifestyle? Here, here's a little. Stop, stop, stop the graffiti. You know, the youth of today need some direction, some guidance. They need to learn how to vent rage without using knives, guns, or bombs. You know, I mean, go out and do something useful. Form a fight club or start a revolution or you know, if you really must tag, there's this great white house in Washington, D.C. that uh, could use some redecorating and maybe a new resident. I, you know, I heard the current resident there is the uh, Crawford Town drunk, George, I think his name is.